What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so, we finally got here. Well, not finally got here, but we finally finished up Terra Terminus Cave. Terminus Cave? I don't know, butchering whatever names. And now it is finally time for us to move on right here, going into the next route. I believe it's Route 19. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's going to correct me when I'm wrong right here. So let's see. Back to this lady. I let my dear Frufru uh, Fru -fru lead the way on our walk. And we came all the way from Kumarain City to here. My feet are killing me. That's a good dog right there. That's a good doggy. Very good uh, foo foo dog. And here we are, Route 19, Grande Valley by the way. Okay, so finally going into Route 19. We're going to be battling a bunch of people like this person right here. Time for a Pokemon battle. Is what me, is what the me from 10 seconds ago would say. It's kind of scary. It really is. So here it is. Uh, X Maniac Josette wants the battle and going out with a kind of pumpkin boot. A pumpkin boot. Uh, what the hell? We're going in this a little too quick right now. Let's see, what does it say? Pumpkaboo, yes. An appropriate Pokemon, especially since of the month of October right here. Halloween is coming up. Who want, who's up for a Halloween? Uh, I sure, I know I am, because I'm, I'm going to be going with my knees. And look at that. And she's coming out with another Pumpkaboo. So I'm going to continue right here, Dragon Falls, all the way. Oh yeah, it's Punkaboo. It looks, look at that, it has like two eyes or something like that. Very, very appropriate for... Uh, Halloween is coming out. I wonder what you guys are going to be for Halloween. I, I already know what I'm going to be for Halloween. Well, actually I don't. I really don't. This is the first Halloween in a long time that I will be free for because of, uh, you know, certain, certain circumstances. Uh, normally, I would be coaching at this very, very moment, but unfortunately, Rona, the Rona has uh, prevented that, so yeah, I'm right here doing walkies for you guys because I'm bored. And care for a sky battle with the Sky Trader? Yes, I am. Okay. Again, I only have one Sky Pokemon right here, and uh, I am lucky enough to be battling a Noctowl right here. Alrighty, look at this sky battle. Let's do it. Flamethrower for the win. Oh yeah. Look at that. Flamethrower nearly beats the knockout here. What the heck? Ah, oh, crap baskets. Ah, uh, Jeebus. They fell falling asleep. Okay, so hopefully this won't be uh hopefully this won't be a constant thing. Okay, so here we go. Wake up, homeboy. And here comes that hair slash doesn't necessarily do a lot, but still it's something. Here we go. Flamethrower for the win again. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Knocked out. Defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And she's coming out with an Aerodactyl right here. And, well, the Aerodactyl's coming out with that pressure right there, so... Again, with a Flamethrower. I don't want to beat these guys quickly. Not very effective since it is a wrong type Pokemon. Here's a Stone Edge. Gravy. Oh! Oh, okay. So, uh, we lost. Thanks, 2020. Thanks, okay. I see where this is going. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. So I took that personally. Alrighty. Luckily for us, we do have lots of revives and all that stuff. And, well, let's go with a hybrid potion right here. Now, if I had my Hydra with me, it wouldn't. this wouldn't have been an issue. But that right there was just a cheap move, which I will take care of right now. Let's see. Is there a move right here for this specific Pokemon? I want to know. Surf. Uh, let's see. Charge Beam, Thunderbolt. Toxic. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, let's see. Will of Wiz, Dazzling Gleam. Rap Basket on Crab Skull. Hit. Uh, Hyper Beam, Focus Bless. It's a fighting type move. Not going to work. Um, well, Brick Break. We could use Brick Break. We could use Brick Break. Or, you know what? Return. Okay, so. Let's teach our Godzilla return for the time being. And, let's see. Yeah. The Auto Man out is going to have to be Dragon Ring. Don't worry, guys. I am changing moves left and right. But guess what? I will be... I will be uh, doing this whole thing right here. 
uh, properly. I will be reteaching my Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Acknowledge me. Okay, so it looks like we, we, we can only battle this person once, or I have to come in and out. Fred, okay, so... Yeah, first loss in quite some time, and... Okay. Again, I took that person away. Here we go! Okay, first guy battle with the Sky Trainer. Yes! Let's do this! Okay, so here we go. Another battle against Sky Trainer. Sarah wants the battle. Going out with her Noctowl. Let's go, Godzilla. Let's finish him. Alright, let's see what this return attack can do. There we go. Return attack. Nearly beats this guy. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this again. Return for the win. Look at that. And there's a fate. Alrighty, okay. I think I know what to do in the next one right here, so bring out this Aerodactyl. Feed me more. Right here. Let's go. Mega. Oh, crap. Mega Evolution. There we go. And let's go for the return right here. Alrighty. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. We're ready for your ass. So let's go. Return attack. Bam. And that takes half, but here, oh yes, we avoided the attack right there. Let's finish this guy off with another return. Eat it! And there goes Aerodactyl. Eat it! Alrighty. The revenge. Suck it, Sarah. Okay, so... That's revenge, uh, right there. 101. By Draven. Okay, so, let's see. Now, we could... We could actually get to this area right here by skipping around, but what I'm gonna do is I gotta get that item right there. Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna use another repel. There is a lot of areas right here, guys, with a lot of items. Just be aware of that. And, well, let's see. Grab this. We found ourselves a max revive. Very great item. We should. We probably do. Oh, actually, we didn't need that. We only have one Sky Pokemon that can actually battle. Normally, I would have two. So there we go, right here, and we're going to be going down this pond right here. You'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon here too, guys. Kind of like in the, the, the marsh down in Sinnoh, and well, I'm not trying to walk on anything right here, so actually, let's go ahead and battle these guys. It's a double battle. Switch out Bone Cell right here for Levolt and Goku right here. I haven't battled these guys in quite some time. I always say that, but I, it's, it was always last episode. And here we go. We are Pokemon Rangers. We bring out the power in our Pokemon. We are Pokemon Rangers. We draw out the power in our Pokemon. Hmm. You don't say. So here we go. The Pokemon Rangers would like to battle, and they're coming out with both Miltank and Tauros. Two tank Pokemon right here. And... Well... Yeah, we're, we're, we're kicking some butt right here. So, let's go right ahead and use a power gem right here onto the mill tank. And, well, close combat. Let's finish out this Tauros. There we go. Look at that. Grabbing the bull by the horns. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. Homeboy goes down. Okay, and here we go. Leveling up. Flood Volt grows to level 57 and is learning Light Screen, which I kind of don't need to teach him right now. And let's see. Oh yeah, Goku finally level 60, and he wants to learn Dragon Pulse. There is no need for Rock Smash, so I'm gonna teach a Dragon Pulse right here. Look at that, Dragon Pulse, got it. All righty. And well, Wake Up Slap. Really? A Wake Up Slap onto my Goku. I would so there's a power gem, does its trick. Of course, we lose half our HP just because um, we use that close combat and whatnot. All right, let's go. Another close combat for the win. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Mill tank has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, okay. And, well... Guy the Fierce Knight grows level 64. Very, very good. And, well, that's some good stuff right there. Very, very good stuff. So, okay. Let us move on right here. 
there are some Pokemon trainers here that you can actually battle, like a Pokemon Ranger, so deal with that. Look at that, the Great Marsh all over again. It's a Pokemon Ranger's duty to ensure that Pokemon can live the same way uh, tomorrow as they do today. Very, very good. Very awesome. So here we go. You are challenged by a Pokemon Ranger, Clementine. And he wants to combat with a Loma Mola. I said that correctly. A Loma Mola! Pretty good Pokemon right there. It's a uh, right attack, so I'm gonna sweep the leg right here. Now, say that. I did, I did talk about uh, Cobra Kai last episode, guys, and, well, my, uh, well, yeah, my friends were talking to me about it. They're telling me, Draven, did you watch Cobra Kai? It is an awesome, uh, it is an awesome series. You should really watch it. And I'm just looking at them with, like, this, the, the, the expression of, like, really? Really? I told them, I've already watched it about a year ago. I already did, and I, and I'm completely frustrated over the fact that they had to postpone season three just because of a little virus. No, it's not a little virus, it's a pretty big one. And then I'm a little bit, I'm even more pissed off at the fact that, well, guess what? They completed making a season three, it's already done, but they're gonna upload it on January 8th, which bugs the crap out of me because it's like, hey, you know what? You know what would make 2020 better? If you just came out with it. If you just came out with it. Please! I need a little happiness in my life. And the way the whole season ended, I kind of want to see what happens next. And then I was told, season 4 is a go! So I'm only assuming that, well, hopefully, maybe, just maybe, later on next year, after season 3 came out, season 4 will be coming out later on, probably like fall, winter, or they're going to be dicks. And they're probably going to be doing it like what? Yeah. They're probably going to be doing it uh, in, uh, in 2022, which is like, seriously, guys, come on. Come on, after all we've been through, come on. Help us out. Help a brothers out. And look at that. We're defeating Pokemon right here. So that's my little rant about, po or about uh, you know, Cobra Kai. I already watched it about a year ago. And uh, how did I do that? You know, uh, red. It was on there first, and uh, good guy. It's an amazing series. So, anywho, let's continue on right here with the surf attack. Comment down below if you guys want to discuss a little bit more about the Cobra Kai. Die! Die! You can come back. My bet is Ellie Mills comes back. I cannot wait for that. And here we go, another surf attack. For the win, say goodbye, Grump Pig. Eat it. Alrighty, look at that. And Ranger Ombre says, uh, or, oh, Clementine, or, I don't even know what her name is. Okay, so, moving on forward right here. You need a Pokemon that needs, uh, strength. And there is, I think, a few items you can find. So, let's go ahead and push. Actually, we have to go right here, right? Okay, so there we go. Push that. And right there. Right there, look at that, and uh, yes, I'm gonna need another repel just in case. We find ourselves a toxic plate, which is a nice, nice uh, item. I don't know why. I mean, I don't think you can find RCs here, right? Maybe? No. And there are quite a few items right here, too, that you can actually find. Like this guy right here. A PP up. Definitely a good item to, to actually have. And, uh, well, what am I looking at right now? Oh, Route 19. Wow. How convenient is it that I like I open up the page and it's Route 19? And hold on just a sec. So in this place right here, you can actually find quite a few Pokemon such as uh, Carnivine, Drapion, Haunter, Carablast, Quagsire, Shelmet, Sligu, uh, Sligu, and Weeping Bell on the yellow flowers. And then on the purple flowers, Carnivine, Drapion, Haunter, Carablast, same Pokemon right there. Swamp area, Carnivine, Hunter, Carablast, uh, pretty much the same Pokemon, except this time you'll find a Stunfish. And, let's see, with a good rod you'll find Barboach, Barboak, Poliwhirl, Super Poach, or Super uh, Rod, you'll find Poliwhirl, Whiskash, and all that stuff. So, yeah, there's quite a few, a few Pokemon you can actually find. Gligar, you can actually find here in a Horde battle. So, if you guys are looking for a Gligar, this is the place to go. And, well... I'm actually uh, waiting on this guy to run out. And look at that. We found ourselves a Yaki Berry. Not exactly Yaki. 
and I'll battle that guy later. But there is another item right here that we need to get, and this is a TM36 Sludge Bomb. A very good move, which I will be teaching one of my Pokemon with. We are close to the Pokemon uh, League, guys. We are very, very close, and I'm excited about that because going into the Pokemon League in Pokemon X, it just gets better and better. It's easier, I should say. And so here comes out Zangoose. A Zangoose. Alrighty, Zangoose. Bring it. And, well, Zangoose. And here we go with the Psychic Attack for the win. And Zangus has not been defeated. Good God! Okay, so we fell for the taunt. All right, let's use a different move. Let's go Magical Leaf. Look at that, since the leaves are falling out, Magical Leaf does the trick. Yes, sir. Okay, alrighty. And, wow, Bear Tech. So this is the first time you'll be seeing a Bear Tech. So let's go right ahead and use the right Pokemon for this job. Yeah, buddy. Our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. And this guy coming out with a bear tick, looking all frosty and stuff. Let's go, flamethrower. And. No, okay. hold on. I just got a great news. Okay, so everybody turned out negative. That's cool. That's cool. Another news the coronavirus is hitting football, and I'm not liking it. Oh, God. Well. We had a good run. It was a good run. All right, so moving on forward right here. I know I skipped a few trainers here and there, but I kind of need to move on to the next spot right here. Let's see. So here we are. I think we battled that girl, right? Probably. I don't know. But you'll find some areas right here, which is a... Well, you'll find this right here. You'll actually find an HP up. Very, very good move. And... Or not a very good move, but a very good item. And let's see... Could be wrong. Could be missing one spot right there. But there is a Pokemon trainer. Did we already battle her? I completely forgot. Yes, guys. Good old Draven forgets a lot. So let's go with this guy. Let's see what she has. Ah, now she's looking at us. Hee 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 hee. Fall before the, my fairies. Okay. Fall before the fairies. Let's go. Fairy tale. Lovelin wants to battle, and she is coming out with a Mr. Mime. Now again. The question arises, if Mr. Mime is a female, should he be called a Mrs. Mime? I'm just asking. So let's go, Flamethrower Attack right here. Let's go. Flamethrower does it. Mr. Mime defeated. Yeah. Okay, alrighty, okay. And Bonesaw has uh, defeated this guy. And, uh, well, coming out with a Zoomerol, let's go ahead and switch out to Love Bolt right here. Alrighty. So, uh, let's see, anything else we can talk about before we just destroy everything? Now, oh yeah, okay, so Pokemon Heart Gold is still continuing, guys. I know that I've been on and off about that game for quite some time. Uh, I'm currently recording a buttload of episodes for it. I haven't gotten to it yet because you know, I've been more busy with this walkthrough and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. We're almost done with that game, so there is no worries right there. And, uh, look at that, Kakashi grows another level. And Aromatisi. Okay. Aromatisi. Actually, let's go with Goku. It does have poison gap. Anywho, yeah, um. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been paying more attention to these games rather than Pokemon Heart Gold. Trust me, guys. I will, you know, I will put my full attention on it once, you know, once we, uh, complete this wand right here, too, because I am still intending to take a small break from the main uh, adventure right after this game. You know. Take a small, small break. Mainly to, you know, to make more episodes on Orange, on Gold, and, well, I don't, I don't know what, what else I'm going to Yeah, those, those two walkers right there. Okay, so let's see. Now, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, because, yes, there are some Pokemon trainers that we are going to be battling in just a little bit. So, yeah, guys, uh, small break. Before we go into uh, before we go into Pokemon Sun and Moon, and what else? Uh, Sun and Moon, and yeah, that time will be taken to actually get me to you know finish off uh, Heart Gold or just give give you guys a little bit more episodes on that and finish off the rest of uh, Pokemon Auras. Now, once you come over here, you're hearing Sensei. 
Oh, damn. I know that voice from anywhere. It's the girlfriend. Hey, do you know what's, uh, what's about to happen? Of course. That's right, we're going to battle. We are Pokemon trainers after all. Okay, so here we go. We're getting this. It's Trainer Shauna. Mm. One of the girlfriends wants the battle, and she is throwing at her first Pokemon, Delcaddy, right here. Let's go, Godzilla, Godzilla. Let's go. Okay, so let's go with the return attack right here, because her Pokemon loves us so much. Look at that. And a front charm attack. A crud. Charm attack trumps her attack harshly. So let's go with the flamethrower. Finish him. For the win. Look at that. Okay, okay. And well, there goes that guy. And Goku grows to level 61. And well, coming out with the Gugra. I think I should switch to a good old Pokemon right here. Gaia the Fierce Knight number three. Mainly for the fairy type purposes and all that crud. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. Come on, Gugra. You don't look so tough after all. Look at that trace. Sap slipper or slipper. Okay, so let's go with the dazzling gleam. See what ends up happening. Look at that. Very type of Pokemon. Oh wow, it survived and ah oh, crap basket. Look at that. Super effective. That's a good defensive uh tactic, but guess what? We got another one. Dazzling gleam for the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay, look at that. And at level 65 for Guy of the Fierce Knight. Anyone who's learned hypnosis, don't really want to teach it hypnosis right now. Set with its uh, with all its moves. And here she comes out with the Delphox. Her starter Pokemon has finally evolved. I got a good Pokemon for you, Kakashi Hitake. Right here. Alrighty. Let's go. Alrighty. So Kakashi Hitake, what's up? Ready and surf. Okay, okay. Let's go. Surf attack does it for the win. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there goes Shauna. She's a little mad. Battles with friends are really, really exciting. Yes, they are. Whatever you say, baby. Whatever you say. Okay, so... That reminded me of our battle in Accord Town. That was the first time uh, for the both of us to battle with our Pokemon. Hello, Sensei! Hello. Hi, Shauna! Huh? Oh, shoot. It's the Power Rangers. What are you two up to? Uh, nothing big. How about you guys? Why the same thing as you, Shauna? We heard about Sensei from the Professor, and we came running as fast as we could. Sensei! Can we have a Pokemon battle? Uh, uh, sorry just to throw that at you. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we are in another battle. Oh, wow. The Yellow Ranger wants to battle us, and it's Tierno. Look at this. He's got the Eye of the Tiger, and he's got himself a Talonflame. Oh, crud. Talonflame. Okay. Now, that's a very interesting Pokemon to actually find right there. That was a... You know, if I wasn't going for any kind of, like, uh, a starter Pokemon from Kanto and all that stuff, I would be using Talonflame as one of them. As one of my Kalos Pokemon. And... Oh, crud. Look at that. Okay, so let's go with the return right here. Finish this guy. Oh, yes. Say goodbye. Look at you. And... Uh, Godzilla Godzilla grows to level 66. Alrighty, and a Crawdye is coming out, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Love Bolt right here. I'm not going to use the Mega Evolution on anyone right now because it's not necessarily fair. It really isn't. So here we go, Flub Bolt coming out, and here we go, Crawdon. Pretty nice Pokemon. Also, another Pokemon that I kind of wanted to use in Pokemon uh, Ruby Sapphire and that Emerald. And look at that, Crawdon. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And this guy has Rose Raid. I'm gonna continue right here because I do have Signal Beam, I think. Probably, I do not know. So, yes, yeah, Signal Beam, let's go. And crap. Here's a hit there. Jeebus Crackman. Okay, there we go again. And. Oh, it's not super effective. Good god. Okay, so. That's not going to happen. I'm going to switch out to Gunjula because I uh, yeah, do not want to get our butts kicked right here. So let's go, Gunjula 3. And here comes the Battle Dance. Not so effective right there. Okay. Let's
Let's go. Flamethrower. Get it. Yeah, buddy. Flamethrower for the win. Suck it, Rose Boy. Suck it. Alrighty, Flip Bolt close to level 60. And, well, Tierno has been defeated. It's weird, but I don't get that down when I lose to you. Yes, you do. You just don't want to admit it. Okay, so that's another one uh, defeated. And, well, wow, Tierney, asking someone to battle. What's up with that? Geo Sedge Town made me think. If since they hadn't been there, I wouldn't be dancing now. That's for sure. That made me want to go get to know Sensei better, and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. It's kind of selfish of me, I guess, but it's also the best way to thank him. Oh, damn. Dear no. It's great when Pokemon trainers like us can understand the hearts and minds of other trainers in their Pokemon through battle. But before we can do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. Yeah, he's killing my Pokemon too, and now it's your turn, Sensei. I think I'll follow the crowd and beat your opponent as well. But this time, I won't be. It won't be about Pokedex. It will be a Pokemon battle. Oh, damn. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. The Green Ranger. Trevor wants the battle. Coming with his Raichu, and wow, with all his might, he's throwing that Pokeball out. Okay, I got this. Ah, oh, damn, my shoulders are killing me. Believe it or not, guys, I'm actually, uh. I actually, I actually uh, had a box of last night with my instructor, and uh, he killed me. He really did. And crap baskets! Nuzzle! Ah, Jesus. And we're paralyzed. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay, so here we go. Bulldoze, come on! And yeah, we are getting our butts kicked, but look at that, right? You, you have been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, and here, well, here he's coming out with an Aerodactyl. I have experience with an Aerodactyl. Now, luckily for us, this is not a sky battle. So, let's go right ahead and just uh, use Kakashi and Tiki right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Kakashi. Use that surf attack. Now, when did my Kakashi. Uh, wow. Yeah, Kakashi is uh, it's a. It's a. It, well, it's experience. Huh, levels. Now, this guy's coming out with a floor juice. Floor juice or floor piece? Do not know, but here we go. Goku. Let's get this. Goku. About to kick some ass. Goku. And uh, Florius right here, the, evolve, the final evolution of uh, Flabibi. Let's go with the Poison Jab, yeah. Oh yeah, this Pokemon is physical as you know what. And there you go. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Look at that, and Kakashi grows to level 64. And Trevor has been defeated. He's like, no! You, you're even stronger than I thought. Yes, I am. That's right, guys. No Fs given. I'm, uh, let's see. Oh, damn. A monologue. There's still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? Wow, I don't think you... I've ever heard you uh, worry about being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's thanks to what, we, what you learned from being uh, with your Pokemon and with us. Your friends! Hmm. Speaking of which, where's Serena? Yeah, where's the other girlfriend? She's left training with the Mega Evolution Guru. She said, she said friends and f friends are friends even if they can't be together. Indeed. Well, there's something we must attend to. Be seeing you. And the girlfriend before she leaves. I'm so glad we went on this journey. I made some great friends. And thanks to my little Finnegan that I met before we, we left, I was able to finish many or visit many visit many places. Meet a lot of nice people and make many wonderful memories. Sensei, this is from us. And look at that. We get ourselves the HM05 waterfall. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this. Even if you're battling without the badge from the Snowbell City Gym, you can use waterfall. I've got to get going. See ya. That's right, guys. Get yourself two girlfriends like Serena and Shauna. Yeah, don't really do that in real life because it's not going to work well. Alright, I'm going to pause it real quick, guys. I'm back, baby. Okay, like I said before in the last episode, guys, uh, I am diff doing like three applications just to get the audio out on right here on the wireless capture card. So, yes, do excuse the con- or sometimes the pausing and all that crud, you know. 
it, it is what it is. Sometimes it, it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But this is a long episode. It's going to happen. Trainer tips! The move Misty Terrain can cut damage from a Dragon Type's move in half, but only protects Pokemon if uh, they're touching the ground. Huh. Well, you don't say. Okay, so... Here we are. Not using another repel, and uh, let's see. I don't know why, but I really don't remember. I really remember the battles I lose. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. The Bergmite was given to me by my grandma when I was born. Alrighty, so here we are, and oh god, it is cold! It is cold! My nipples are hard. Good god. Okay, so here we are in Snowbell City. Oh yes, guys, it is a it is a nice place that we're going to be at, and there's a lot to get to in this area alone. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be doing a lot in this ep in this following episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.